Hi. Hi. So today I'm with Sukriya. We are going to uh, share about how we get the Chihuning uh, scholarship. So in this video, we would like to uh, first uh, share about how to fulfill the eligibility criteria that's yes. set by the Chihuning, right? Yeah. Okay, Sukriya. Okay. So we start. Let's go. Okay. So what's the first? Uh, uh, criteria that uh, they have to fulfill? The first requirement that you have to fulfill is the citizenship criteria which means that uh, you have to be a Chivning eligible country which means that you can be a uh, British, British, you don't have a British nationality or a dual nationality like for example a British nationality and another one so yeah yeah, so that's the first one. For the details, you maybe uh, can check into the website whether your country is included or no. But we do believe that a lot of countries, like more than 100, Many countries. 45 I think, yeah. right? So again, you have to check for the uh, nationality that are included in, in this uh, uh, criteria. So what is the second one? The second one is that you have to return your home country <laughs> after you finish your master's degree for a minimum of two years. All right, so you have to come back to your home country after you're finishing your master's degree. And then the third one? The third one is that you have to have a post, uh, an undergraduate degree. Mm -hmm. um, it should be equivalent of a what? Uh, upper second yeah, class degree. Second upper class degree. Yeah, second upper class degree. Yeah, so it if could be in anything, in any subject. Yeah, so uh, in a way that you can check whether uh, your because every country has a different uh, yeah, marking, uh, yeah, marking and categorization. Yes. So you may check into the internet and uh, convert to the UK standard. The UK one, yes. yeah, exactly. And then that the, the third one, right? Now it's the yes. fourth one. The fourth one is that you have at least two years of working experience. So like working experience can be either volunteering, working part time or full time, or even an internship. Right. So that the fourth one is about two years working experience as minimum requirement. Yeah. And then the fifth one? The fifth one is that you have to apply for three different UK universities. This could be any UK university in anywhere inside the UK. And you could apply for the same course, course in three different universities or you can apply for one university, three different courses. Yes, that's the fifth one. And then the sixth one? The last Which one. is uh, the last one is the English requirement. The English requirement you need to take a, like an international degree in English language, which could be IELTS or TOEFL or whatever. Cambridge and so on. So yeah, yeah. it's also in the Chevening website. I think. Yeah, exactly. Everything actually you can uh, find out in the Chevening uh, website that I will put it in the link below. So I think that's all about the requirement that you have to fulfill, whether you are eligible or not eligible. Yes. Our suggestion is if you are not eligible yet, don't apply for this year. Wait until you are eligible. Prepared, yeah. Yes. That you are really ready and prepared and then apply. Exactly. So if you have any question, please leave it in the comment and we will try our best to answer your uh, question. And if you find out that this video is uh, helpful or you like it, please do like it, hit the button. And then also if you want to uh, subscribe, we will have like weekly updated uh, video on how to get a cheapening scholarship. How it's helpful and goodbye. Goodbye.